Have you ever encountered the situation where your page numbers wind up behind document page elements? It happens. Here is a standard magazine style layout. Look what happens on page one. Page number shows up. But as I scroll down, page two has an image covering the bottom half of the page, so the page number gets hidden. What if you want that page number to appear? Obviously, you do page numbers on the master page. Create a text frame, enter it with the type tool, go to type, insert special character, markers, current page number. So that's right. And this master page is applied to this document page, but the page number gets hidden. That's because InDesign considers document page elements to be of a higher level than master page elements. Master page elements, in short, are at the back. It's just how it is, but only on the same layer. If you really want your page numbers to appear on top of everything else, to always appear no matter what's on the document page, go back to the master page, open up the layers panel. I'll tear it off here so it's a little easier to see. We'll hide that. And you can see here are the objects on this master page. Right now, it's very simple. It just has a header text frame and a footer text frame, the footer containing the folio or page number. I'm going to create a new layer. We'll double click that to change its name and we'll call it overlay. Hit enter. Now I'll select this text frame with my black arrow and you can see that on the layers panel it lights up. I can take that object and now drag it up to overlay. So now when I go down to the document page, that page number appears on top of the document objects. As long as your document objects are put on this layer, layer one, or something below the layer containing your page numbers, your page numbers will always show up on top of them. 